Hello folks, welcome back to Learn Synthesis with VCV Rack. This is Series 1, Episode 7. In this episode, we are going to look at the principles behind making a snare drum sound using a synthesizer. And um, that way you'll be able to kind of like tailor your, tailor your own snare drum sound for your own tastes. Uh, because you'll know the principles in addition to what I make here today. And then, just as a um, a preview for what we're going to do next time. We are going to take the kick drum sound that we made in the last episode, the snare sound that we're making in this episode, and in the next episode I'll show you how to basically execute those two different sounds using different keys on your MIDI keyboard so you can start putting together your own drum kit. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so we're starting with the blank slate again here, and um, I'm going to throw in some modules to start. We are going to need a MIDI module. This time we're still going to use the MIDI to CV module. The next episode I'll be showing you how we can incorporate another MIDI module, get different drum sounds on different keys of the keyboard. So that way they're all on the same MIDI channel. Um, and when I like to work out ideas, I like to have the kick and the snare and play them simultaneously just to generate ideas. So I think knowing how to do that would probably be valuable. I'll set it up for my MIDI keyboard. And then I'm going to use a noise generator, which we saw last time. And we're going to then need. Well, I at least like to use a filter and actually two of them. Okay, and then we're going to need an envelope and key. There we go. All right. And then we're going to need a mixer. And actually, I'm going to put it before the envelope. Fine, friendly mixer here from BCV. And then after this, I am going to put a delay. I like my delays. And then. At the end, we need an audio. And I might as well make sure it's set to my interface. Okay, yeah, for me, Jack. Should do it. Okay, so we're starting with noise. As we looked at last time when we made the kick drum sound, um, this noise generator puts out different flavors of noise. White noise is basically the equally balanced throughout the spectrum emanation of all frequencies at the same time. Um, and that we will use. I'm going to take output here. Audio red. That's the way I like it. And then um, I did some listening beforehand. Zoom in here a little bit. And I think I'm going to go with the red noise. And hook that up here to this filter. <clears throat> so in both cases, we're filtering noise. But I'm going to use the one filter to kind of get the higher frequency aspects of the snare drum sound. In other words, kind of like the snares themselves. The basically those little chains underneath the bottom head that rattle and create um, either a tight, crisp sound or they could be a, uh, a loose, rattly sound. 
And you can get kind of both by playing with some parameters as you go. All right, so here I'm going to use a high pass filter. Now, just so, yeah, I'm going to turn this down first. I'm going to put the noise through so we can just kind of hear it, hear the spectrum before we mix them together. You hear how it's kind of grainy there? That gives us some nice rattly sounds for like the rattle of snares. What I'm going to do with it, see what resonance gives me. Right about there. And then I'm going to add some drive. Now, you can definitely do different things depending on what kind of sound you want. Putting the drive up more it was giving me more of a shimmer, like will be good for a cymbal. It's a good thing to bear that in mind. But for now, what I'm going to do is put this into channel 2 over here. This is the higher at aspect of the sound. Red. Channel 2. Okay. Um, <laughs> next, let's listen to and do the same thing with. This is coming from our red noise. And this is going to give us more of the body of the sound. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'm using the low pass here. So the more I lower this, the less low frequencies we hear. I know it's not sounding like a snare, but I'm looking for frequencies that would be useful. Right about there. Let's see what resonance gives us. That helps. That clears out some of the lower rumble that's really not part of a snare sound. Now we're getting a little high. How about there? And then let's add some drive. Get more rumble again. That helps get rid of it. I think we're going to go with that. So I'm going to plug this into the mixer. Oops. Here's the mixer. What was I doing plugging this into here? Audio channels are down. Okay, initialize that back to normal again because now we have mixer control before our output. Now we need to put an envelope on this. We're going to get rid of our sustain and release. Turning them all the way down. We're going to turn down all the way our attack so it's as quick as we can get. And to start, I'm going to put the decay somewhere around there, and we'll see what happens. We're going to need the gate over here. Trigger the envelope. Ah, that's right. I like to do gate green. <laughs> Okay, good. Now let me see here. I'm going to connect this up to the audio just to hear it as it is now. Oh, sorry about that. We want to put our gate on, I mean our envelope on. 
our mixer here. In fact, why don't we switch these? There you go. Um, okay, well, that's not right. Let's do this again. Uh huh. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? This is the mixers out. That's going to be audio red. We already have the gate hooked up to the envelope here. All right, so now let's take an output out of here. We should have it. Okay. Not hearing anything yet. Are we, is this gate hooked up to gate? Yeah, and I see it is lighting up here, so we're getting to the gate. Oh, I'm going out of one of the individual channel outputs on the mixer. There we go. And so now, our first one is kind of like the body of the sound, the lower frequency aspect. So if you want brighter, you go there. Or well, technically you shouldn't use a mixer as an amplifier. And now here are decay time. If you want more snare rattle, you got it right there. All right. How about there? Good middle ground. Okay, now let's see what we can do with the uh, delay here. We're going to go out the mix out so our mix control gives us control over the wet, dry sound, like the undelayed sound and the delayed sound. Okay. Delay time's up too high, but you could use that for some effect. Now, lower the feedback amount. Maybe reduce the mix a bit. This is just adding a little bit of subtleties to it. I'm not using it to, you know, to do some heaviness to the sound. Just playing with this. Nope, leave it as is in this way. Okay. So, we can, of course, mix it a little bit. You want a little more pow to the sound. And of course, here, if we want more rattle. And when that envelope's longer, yeah, so really the delay is just adding thickness. There we go. We actually have a pretty cool sounding snare here. Um, another thing we can adjust is how much of the lower frequency material, this is not balance of low frequency material really, that's over here, but here is where we can kind of say how much upper mid-range might be coming in.
down here sounds tighter. This takes away some of the brightness. Well, no, it doesn't. This is high pass. This allows a little more mid range from the white noise. But overall, they all change the timbre of the sound. In electronic music, this could be used effectively for some stuff. Can't wait till the next one when we can actually have the kick and snare in at the same time. So anyway, I guess this is going to end up being a short episode, uh, but I am recording multiple episodes today in the next couple days. Thanksgiving weekend is coming up, and uh, my wife and I are about to do two days of markets on Black Friday and Saturday at the Spirit of Swanee Music Festival grounds, uh, selling some of her uh, cigar box guitars if you're kind of interested in that sort of thing like homemade instruments and so forth that's at psycheopera.com is the website and she has a youtube channel called psyche opera you search for psyche p-s-y-c-h-e opera um it should come up it's the uh it's the eye um and so when you uh uh, check out that. I mean, you can see how to build cigar box guitars and how to uh, build preamps for them and all sorts of things. So anyway, thank you for joining me today. Please like, share, subscribe, or anything you can do to help the channel grow. Uh, leave a comment if you have questions or some ideas and stuff. And I'll see you next time. So take care and stay free.